They both had pasts routed by danger. Him as a Royal Canadian Mounted Police officer, who'd hunted serial killers before he'd retired to become a mountain man recluse. And her with a con man ex, who had more than his fair share of unscrupulous enemies, she was sure would use her as bait to get what they were owed. She'd already had a run-in with two dangerous thugs who'd wanted exactly that. Luckily, they were no longer living, and her ex was safely occupying a jail cell back in the States. As she went to change, the bear lumbered behind her. The cabin was small, just a living area with a kitchenette, a small bathroom, and a bedroom at the back. It was rustic, with only a wood stove for heat and solar panels for electricity. There was a generator for emergencies, but they rarely used it. The bear was only a black bear, but he was as big as they got. And even though the cabin was open and airy, his big furry butt knocked furniture as he moved to follow her. What's wrong with you, Rocky? She scratched his ears and he pressed gently against her. Don't suck up. You got me in trouble. Grounded, actually. She said, pouting but gave him a final pat and grabbed some jogging pants. Once she had pulled them on, she set to put on a pair of Mike's wool socks. She didn't bother with a sweatshirt, though. She was still too warm. How many logs did you put in the stove today? She asked, blowing out a breath as she walked out of the bedroom with Rocky following. It's hot in here. Same as usual, and it's not hot. Why aren't you wearing a sweater? I'm sweating in here. Mike's face was still marred with concern. Are you sick? No, I feel fine other than boiling. Mike looked at the bear and swung his gaze back to her. If you were sick, that might explain your guardian there. Avery crossed her arms and rolled her eyes, ignoring the tenderness of her breasts. One guardian is enough for me, thanks. I'll have to issue a pink slip to one of you. Mike's brow rose. A pink slip, huh? I like the color pink. Why don't you try it, little girl? His growly words tickled her insides right through to her clit. The bear shifted, blocking Mike, and he groaned. That bear has to go. My bottom has been alabaster white for a long time. Perhaps it needs a little color. Maybe I can lose him on a walk. She nodded toward Rocky. Mike's mouth hitched up on one side making his mustache crooked and her heart skip a beat. She walked to him, stood on her tippy toes, and linked her hands behind his neck, pulling him down for a kiss. Rocky chuffed behind them, and Mike growled against her lips, before he was too sucked into the kiss to complain. It has been a while since you've had that backside of yours warmed, hasn't it? 